just really proud of, of our team's uh, effort, intensity, um, accountability. Uh, you, you could tell that that was a team out there playing for each other and not playing for themselves. Uh, I thought, obviously, the, the defensive performance was phenomenal uh, to hold a team uh, to 10 yards on, on the ground and, and get the turnovers and fourth down stops that, that we did uh, in their stadium uh, is, is pretty impressive. Um, and uh, let me backtrack a little bit. We're, we're going to celebrate this win. Uh, winning college football games is really hard, really hard. And winning on the road, in conference, on a Thursday night is even harder. And uh, we're going to celebrate it tonight. We're going to wake up, go to class tomorrow. We're going to relax on Saturday. And on Sunday, we're going to come in and, and go to work uh, to go 1-0 again next week. Uh, offensively, I, I think, you know, hats off to the Iowa State defensive staff. Uh, that was an incredible game plan by them. Uh, they were uh, had shown or they, they were playing fronts and coverages that we had literally, we had scouted two years worth of video since uh, Matt Campbell had arrived here at, at Iowa State and hadn't seen any of that. And, uh, you know, three-man fronts and slanting and moving and supporting the run with the corners and making them unblockable by the outside receivers. And, and then third down, you know, dropping everybody into coverage and, and testing our old line and taking away throwing lanes. They took away Colin Johnson. They clouded his side pretty much all night. Uh, and so, you know, we adjusted. Uh, it was, uh, you know, not as well, obviously, as, as we would have liked, especially in the run game. But uh, to end the game with a 13-play, seven-and-a-half-minute drive all on the ground uh, to keep our defense off the field and, and end the game, I think that was, uh, you know, and again, credit to Tim Beck and the rest of the offensive staff for uh, on those third down calls, you know, calling quarterback draw. Uh, you know, when they're rushing three and dropping eight into coverage on third down, uh, you know, it's really hard to complete passes. And so uh, we wanted to call quarterback draw, and it worked for us a couple times. And uh, we found a way to run the ball there at the end when it, when it mattered. But uh, we got a lot of work to do there. Uh, and, and still trying to figure out our, our identity on that side of the ball. But uh, great team effort. We're going to get on the plane, go back to Texas, relax a little bit, and get back to work. Questions? Question. Tom, after, after uh, Maryland, T.O. said that the main thing he wanted was the guys to stop making, stop making a lot of just, just go. You know, as showcased by that Malik closing, is that what you guys have been doing the last two games, three games, really? Really three games, yeah. I mean, since I, they, they learned a very valuable, very costly, but valuable lesson uh, in that Maryland game. And um, you can't play great defense if you're evaluating and if, if you're thinking uh, and if you're gauging or tiptoeing. You've got to stick your foot in the ground and go and trust that the other 10 guys uh, are going to be there right behind you. And uh, our defense for the last three weeks has been doing that. Uh, we've got a, uh, again, we're not perfect. We, we uh, you know, allowed some passing yards. Uh, you know, when, when you make a team one dimensional, now you got to shut down that dimension too. And so we've got some work to do in the back end um, in terms of defending the pass, I, I thought. But uh, overall, uh, it's a much different attitude, uh, you're right, uh, the, the last three weeks. It, it is right now, absolutely, yeah. And, um, you know, we, we've got our plan to win. And our, our plan to win, the very first thing is play great defense. And you play great defense, everybody on the field, even on offense, you play great defense. How? When you have awful field position like we did for a lot of the night, you go make two first downs and, and jog a Ray Guy Award finalist out, punt the ball and, and run your defense out. You protect the football. Uh, you run the ball. Hope, you know, we, we didn't do that very well tonight. But, um, you know, ag again, I go back to since the BCS era. And again, please fact check me, but I think this is an accurate statement. There has not been a national champion. Uh, there's been only one that's finished outside of the top 25 in defense, and that was Auburn. I think they finished 32nd, and they had uh, a young man at quarterback named Cameron Newton. Uh, that was uh, a, a difference maker. So uh, you're, you're not going to play elite football and win consistently if you don't play great defense. And uh, we're starting to look like a team that not only believes that, but goes out and performs that. Coach, you guys have been so good on the fourth down. You talked about how smart the team is running. The Iowa State ran almost the same time on those fourth downs, like they were running and running on the other game. You guys just jumped right on it. They're learning quickly. 
Yeah, yeah, that was good to see. We were in a different coverage, so I, I, you know that was uh, um, made the adjustment a little bit easier. But uh, no, to to see that that play unfold and then you know have our guys be able to jump the routes, having seen that earlier in the game, that that shows me that that's a you know a, a group of guys that's um, you know understanding defensive football. Yeah, because I, I think, you know, the, the, the people, again, we're, we've taken the approach, probably should have done it a lot sooner, um, but we've made it a big um, kind of emphasis of, of a bunker mentality and, and not listening to the outside noise and that the only people's opinions that matter are our teammates and our coaches. And if you're not careful, you know, people are going to say it's an ugly win and people um, are going to pick apart all of the things that we didn't do well tonight. Uh, but the last time I checked, we, we won a conference game on the road on a Thursday night and um, uh, doing, it, doing so, uh, playing really good defense with three of our, our top three run blockers, uh, not in the lineup in Andrew Beck, Elijah Rodriguez, and Connor Williams. So um, winning is hard, man. And I, I think sometimes, um, you know, and, and it's not just here at Texas, it's it's pretty much everywhere now in the the uh, message board age that everybody, if you're not careful, if you listen to all of that, then you're, you're just going to do nothing but be negative. Do we know we have things to work on? Absolutely. Um, we've got a lot to work on on offense. Um, but we're sure as heck going to celebrate winning because uh, it's it's too hard to come by. Um, over the last couple of weeks, what did um, Joshua Rowan show you that gave you confidence to send him out there for a you know, 49 yard field goal after his struggles early on in the second year? Um, you know, we, we, we tell our team that uh, you're going to earn your role on this team by how you perform in practice. And we're going to put you in game-like situations in practice uh, so that you can show us who you are. And uh, the kicker is, is, you know, he's been nails in practice. And so uh, for me to uh, jog him out there for a 49-yard field goal, uh, you know, uh, until issues in games become habitual, we're going to go with uh, what the guy has done in practice, and that goes for every position. And, and um, you know, he came through. Yeah, we've we've had to lean on them. Obviously, the last two games, uh, one, uh, you know, a double overtime loss, but we were certainly leaning on them. And you know, the number four team in the country with that many playmakers on offense, uh, you know, other other than the two, you know, two minute snafus. Obviously, the big one before half, which was a, you know they're throwing a hail mary and the damn running back leaks out, he dumps it to him, and uh, it's just a great athlete in space making a play and we held the USC Trojans to seven points in regulation and um, uh, you can't take those away uh, obviously and we worked uh, I think almost every day except for this this past Monday and Tuesday of the, the off week in two minute situations to make sure that that never happens again uh, but uh, we're going to lean on our defense uh, for the whole time I'm here now obviously we're, we're going to want to um, make sure that if if a team, especially in the Big 12, if a team is finding a rhythm offensively, that, that we can go toe to toe with offenses in this league, and, and we will. We'll, we'll continue to go back to the drawing board and um, you know find ways. I, I you know again, it's it's human nature. I've been in that press box uh, calling plays on offense when uh, nothing's going right, and that's an awful, awful feeling. Um, and because there's not a whole lot uh, that, that you can do on game day to fix it. You can, uh, you know, I thought we made some good halftime adjustments, but we got to, I mean, we're our own worst enemy a lot of the times with the holding calls, and uh, we had a couple missed assignments, but, um, you know, we stayed patient, and it's, 
it's difficult as a play caller when you're making one yard or two yards. You want to just say, forget it. Let's let's just throw it every snap. And that's not the answer either. Uh, so uh, I, I thought, you know, the patience and persistence by the offense was was good. Now we just we've got to be better uh, and more consistent throughout the course of the game. Uh, he practiced better. Yeah, we, that was one of the things that in, in diagnosing some of the issues we had on in running the football was, um, you know, and, and this is not a knock on, on Kyle and, and Chris, but, um, you know, it's, it's obvious that Tennille is probably our most twitched up, explosive, um, you know, top end speed tailback. And so, uh, you know, we, we've, it, it was never a talent issue with Tennille. It was a trust issue as a true freshman. And, you know, is he going to go left when he's supposed to go right? And is he going to block the right guy when he's asked to block people? And is he going to protect the football? Because uh, quite honestly, he, he'd been uh, a bit inconsistent with that in, in practice. And Stan Drayton uh, did, a, did a great job the last 11 days of saying, kid, we need you. Uh, and we, we need your explosive ability. We need your, um, your speed. And, uh, you know, he, he played well, and I'm, I'm sure he'll continue. Uh, if he continues to practice the way that he did, he'll, he'll continue to factor in the game plan. Time for one last one. <laughs> we can go two more. I like you guys. <laughs> Coach, how much is the, the pressure that the lead Brecht and a those guys who are rushing the pass, or how much is that helping the guys in the secondary, like Colton and Deshaun, be able to make plays? Man, it's, it's, uh, it's paramount, you know. It, and playing you know it's like in seven on seven you know we're, we're mad at the offense if if we don't complete 80 or 90 percent of our passes because uh, when there's no rush on the quarterback and he can stand back there and um, you know pick zones apart or, or make good throws against man coverage it's it's pretty easy when you start running some mean dudes at them that, that have some bad intentions uh, it it affects quarterbacks, and and you know we we've got to continue to do that, uh, especially on early downs too. We need, in my opinion, just uh, you know when we're playing base defense, we still need a better pass rush when people want to throw the ball on first down. But uh, when when we're blitzing and and when we're then in our third down package, uh, you know that's we're making it really difficult for for quarterbacks and back there. Um, how, do you, how do you look at it? I, I look at, one, are we, are we using our personnel correctly? Are we, are we putting our players in the best possible position to do what they can do and, and do it well? Uh, and then, you know, we, we have to run the football. We're not going to be one of those teams. And, and you know, human nature is... Um, to say, hey, we're, we're good. We got really good receivers. We got good quarterbacks. Maybe we should just throw it, you know, 70% of the time. And, um, you know, there's, there, there is a bit of merit to that. But if we want to win and win championships, we got to find a way to run the football and we've got to find a way to do it um, the way that our O-line and our, our backs can. So that's priority number one is, is just analyzing the, the personnel and are we putting them in – the right position and asking them to do the things that they're capable of doing. And then what do we have to do um, to improve uh, the, the run game? Thank you. Thanks,